This Indiana high school principal denied this Marine from graduating because of his attire and expelled him from the line of expecting students. The story went viral and something totally unexpected happened. One sunny morning, Jacob Dalton Stanley woke up with a feeling of excitement bubbling in his heart. He couldn't believe that today was the big day, the most important day of his life so far. With a beaming smile, Jacob carefully put on his graduation gown and cap, making sure every detail was just right. He couldn't wait to step into the school auditorium and receive the recognition he had worked so hard for. Seated in the auditorium, the young man felt a mixture of nervousness and pride. To his left sat his mother Kathy, a supportive smile on her face, and to his right was his girlfriend Shannon, radiating happiness. The three of them sat with big smiles on their faces, eagerly waiting for Jacob's name to be called out. The auditorium buzzed with excitement as the graduation ceremony unfolded. Jacob listened attentively to each name called, the excitement building as he knew his turn was coming. Finally, the moment arrived. The principal began calling out names and Jacob Stanley was next on the list. However, as the principal reached Jacob's name, there was an unexpected pause. The principal stared at him for a moment, then continued with the rest of the names. It felt like the world had stopped for Jacob as he realized he had been skipped, robbed of his proud moment. Unable to comprehend the sudden twist of events, the young man felt a mix of embarrassment and disappointment. To say that he hadn't been expecting this outcome was an understatement. After all, Jacob had always been a standout student at Crown Point High School. Even as a little boy, he held on to a big dream. He wanted to follow in his father's footsteps and serve his country. At first, people dismissed his aspirations, thinking he was too young to be serious. But the young boy surprised everyone by staying true to his childhood dreams. Determined not to mess things up, Jacob had worked hard, putting in the effort to finish high school before pursuing his big dreams. He knew that serving in the military was his calling. Right after finishing his exams, he wasted no time and applied to become a Marine. He undertook the necessary boot camp and faced challenges head on, proving his determination. Luckily, he managed to make it back to Indiana just in time for his high school graduation. The surprise on his loved one's faces was obvious as they watched him walk up the steps to his house, proudly dressed in his Marine Corps uniform. His mother Kathy couldn't hold back tears at the sight. She had always known her son to have it in him, and now seeing him in that uniform filled her heart with pride. Jacob was not only about to graduate from high school, but he was also stepping into a new chapter as a Marine. Filled with pride and joy, Jacob's girlfriend Shannon joined Kathy in beaming at him. Together, the three of them made their way to the high school graduation ceremony. That day, Jacob showcased the result of his hard work, both in academics and his commitment to serving the country. His excitement was palpable as he stood there, diploma in sight. The moment he'd receive his diploma in front of his friends and family would be the culmination of all the hard work and dedication he had poured into his studies. As Jacob sat in the audience, a sea of familiar faces greeted him, friends and teachers alike. They exchanged smiles, and some friends even gave him a playful salute, acknowledging his achievement. The air buzzed with excitement from all the students, creating an atmosphere filled with anticipation. Principal Chip Pettit, the head of Crown Point High School, stepped onto the stage, picked up the microphone, and began his opening lines for the graduation speech. Amidst the excitement, Principal Pettit started calling out the names of the graduates in alphabetical order. Jacob's friends and teachers looked on, eager for his turn. The anticipation grew as the principal finally reached the S's. Kathy glanced over at her son with a supportive smile. Jacob had even prepared an acceptance speech and had practiced the words until they were almost memorized. As the moment approached, the young graduate sprang up, hardly able to contain his eagerness. However, a sudden pause in Principal Pettit's announcement caught everyone's attention. The principal's eyes locked with Jacob's and a smirk appeared on his face. A hush fell over the auditorium as he looked back at his list and continued reading the name after Jacob's. Everyone was shocked at what had just happened. The anticipation had built up to this moment and it seemed like the principal had deliberately skipped Jacob's name. An outrage spread through the crowd as they tried to process what had just happened. Still standing, 
Jacob felt a mix of confusion and disappointment. His classmates kept parading in front of him. Some only shuffled by, while others shoved him away in their excitement to reach the stage, effectively expelling him from the line. The atmosphere that was once filled with excitement now had a cloud of confusion hanging over it. Trying to make sense of the situation, he exchanged bewildered glances with his friends. Some in the audience murmured, questioning the principal's actions, while others expressed their disbelief in hushed tones. Principal Pettit continued reading names as if nothing had happened, and it became clear that Jacob's graduation had been intentionally disrupted. Reflecting on the day, Jacob remembered how he had defied the principal earlier, standing up for what he believed was right. However, he never expected that it would lead to such a humiliating situation during his graduation. He had hoped that the principal would be professional and not seek revenge. To Jacob, it felt reasonable to express his views, but it seemed the principal didn't see it the same way. The core of the issue lay in Jacob's choice to wear his Marine uniform to his graduation. He questioned the fairness of it all. After pledging to put his life on the line to serve his country, why was he being treated this way? The frustration gnawed at him as he thought about the sacrifice and commitment he had demonstrated as a young Marine. Did he not deserve to wear his uniform wherever he went, just because graduating students were expected to wear cap and gown? And the worst part was that there were many other students who seemed to be violating the graduation dress code. It became apparent that there was a double standard, and it left his mother Kathy questioning whether Principal Pettit had a personal issue with her son. In an interview later, the boy's aggrieved mother expressed her feelings, stating that it was a disgrace. She highlighted the inconsistency in how the dress code was enforced, pointing out that there were students wearing shorts and gym shoes, as well as another student who wore a red turban, symbolizing his religious views. Yet. Their names had been called during the ceremony. Jacob, on the other hand, had shown up wearing his full-dress blue Marine Corps uniform, a symbol of pride and honor. To be fair, as Kathy later pointed out, there was nothing in the Crown Point Community School Corps bylaws addressing whether U.S. military uniforms could be worn at graduation. The outrage echoed through the community as Jacob's story gained unexpected attention. Many, like Lean Tucson, a peer of Jacob's who serves in the military, found the situation utterly ridiculous. He's putting his life on the line for us. It's unacceptable that he was not allowed to walk across the stage, Tucson expressed, capturing the sentiments of many students who were equally outraged. The news spread like wildfire, and some students decided to take a stand. In a show of solidarity with Jacob, they planned to ditch the rest of the graduation ceremony refusing to let his accomplishments be overshadowed by the controversy. The backlash extended beyond the school grounds, reaching individuals like Crystal Hernandez, who took to Facebook to share her thoughts. Hernandez expressed her disbelief, highlighting the contradiction between encouraging uniqueness and individuality, while at a crucial life event, an administer made a decision that seemed to undermine those very principles. It amazes me that all through life, People are always telling you to be proud that you're different and celebrate your uniqueness. Yet, at one of the most memorable events in your life, an administrator makes the decision to completely destroy your accomplishments, she wrote, directing her frustration at Crown Point High School and principal Chip Pettit. When he found out about the comments directed at him, the principal simply blew them away. He thought this matter would be forgotten within a few short days, and yet, soon enough, something completely unexpected happened. The anger and disappointment weren't limited to social media. The issue reached the House Education Committee, escalating the matter to higher levels of scrutiny. An angry Facebook user declared, I know of people who are pulling all financial support of Crown Point High School and their programs over this. The community was not only expressing outrage, but also considering tangible actions to address what they perceived as a grave injustice. In response to the growing outcry, Principal Chip Pettit found himself in the spotlight. The House Education Committee had taken notice, and letters expressing discontent flooded his inbox. Some even questioned the financial support the school received in light of the controversy. The community was demanding answers and accountability. Mr. Pettit defended his actions, revealing that Jacob had been warned during the graduation rehearsal that he wouldn't be allowed to wear his uniform to the ceremony. 
According to Mr. Pettit, he had informed Jacob of his decision earlier in the day. When the young Marine arrived at the graduation ceremony, in his uniform, true to his word, the principal struck his name off the program. However, this revelation only fueled the fire of discontent. Many found it shocking that a school official would take such a rigid stance against a student's choice of attire, especially when that choice was a military uniform. The community questioned the reasoning behind such a decision, given that there were no explicit guidelines in the school bylaws regarding the wear of U.S. military uniforms at graduation. Amidst the overwhelming backlash, Principal Chip Pettit stood firm, asserting that he was merely enforcing school policy. He suggested that Jacob could have worn a military stole or cord over a gown to be recognized during the graduation ceremony. Mr. Pettit emphasized that the intention was not to be disrespectful, but rather to maintain a tradition of pride for the students. Despite the principal's defense, the public's opinion remained steadfast. Many perceived his actions as hypocritical, particularly in the face of the community's strong reaction. His insistence on adhering to a tradition at the expense of a student's pride in military service led to increased scrutiny of the school's policies and the need for a more inclusive and respectful approach in such matters. Adding to the distress, another school in the Crown Point area, Horde High School, found itself in the spotlight for a similar situation, though for a completely different reason. Anna Criticos, another graduate who had enlisted in the Marine Corps like Jacob, faced a different outcome when she sought permission to wear her military uniform at her graduation ceremony. Anna had approached her high school administrators seeking approval to wear her Marine uniform. To her relief, they fully supported her decision. In stark contrast to Jacob's ordeal, Anna shared, the Marines are okay with us wearing our uniforms at high school graduation. The school board, principal, and superintendent discussed it and agreed that I could wear my Marine uniform. Horde High School went the extra mile to recognize military graduates. Superintendent Peggy Buffington explained, We acknowledge future military members by having them stand during the ceremony, and the audience applauds. Anna Criticos, who graduated early and made it just in time for the ceremony, had a special moment. She is a private first-class military occupation specialist currently serving in Virginia, specializing in intelligence. Her achievements were acknowledged with pride. State Representative Mike Alsworth, a Vietnam-era veteran, strongly supported Jacob and advocated for legislation allowing military students to wear their dress uniforms at graduation. He successfully obtained committee approval for a bill aimed at ensuring uniformity in this regard across the state. Allsworth addressed inconsistencies among school districts, emphasizing the importance of encouraging young people to graduate in their military uniforms. Jacob's father supported the idea of statewide uniform standards legislation, hoping to prevent situations like this from occurring in the future. Jacob, on the other hand, expressed a desire to avoid further social media controversy and focus on moving forward with his Marine Corps career. He is living his dreams despite this incident and won't let the decision of a single man strip him from the pride and joy he feels every time he wears his uniform. What do you think of the principal's decision? How would you have felt in Jacob's shoes? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.